Hello, Stevies. Happy Fury Friday! So Honda has released the 2022 Honda Fury, and we're gonna go through it together on the website. We're gonna look at the features. I don't think much has changed, but I know the color's changed, and it's awesome, so let's get to it. Also, don't mind my beard and my long hair and stuff. This is like the harvest look, and we're not done with harvest yet, but this is, this is the harvest look. Let's get to it here, let's go. Honda Motor. Honda Motorcycles. There we go, Honda Power Sports. There we go. That looks like another video right there. That's what that looks like. Is that that electric Grom? Ah, here we go. Um, you want overview? There it is. Look at that. Man. That is awesome. Okay, uh, first first thoughts though. I love the paint. What do they call it? What do they call the paint? Yellow pearl. Yellow pearl is cool. I like the paint. Oh, but you know what I don't like? Let's see if we can get. It. Yeah, here it is. I don't like the frame. It's like they just clear coated, clear coated the frame. Or is it like a gray? I don't know, I don't. I think they missed it on the frame. If that frame was black, I think it would do a lot more for it. But I can kind of, well, I can kind of see how that, they might have thought that that would be too much black, but if it's a yellow bike, I think you'd want as much black on it as you can get. Like I might even, I might even black out the headlight. Yeah, I think they missed it on the frame. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know. I think they missed it on the frame. Other than that, the bike is the same, but this color looks really interesting yeah right here look at the reflection it's almost like a gold isn't it that's cool that is really cool slow it down don't need to give anybody motion sickness okay so reflectors would have to go obviously the tail light piece would have to go and See, this is the problem with me buying a new bike is that I would want to team out this rear fender right away because I don't like the gap between the fender and the wheel, which you can see clear as day right there. I mean, you can see white in between the fender and the tire. And if the taillight assembly with the blinkers was not there, this part right here. I mean, you'd be able to see even more through it. So I would want to take, I'd want to take the fender off and, and T-mod it. Which if you haven't seen that done, check out our videos, our Fury videos. We have T-modded ours and it drops that rear fender down without changing the suspension because the suspension is great. Let's go check out the features here. The Fury's engine features specifically designed camshafts that also add to the unique V-twin sound and power plus exhaust. I, I, yeah, that makes sense. I did not know that. If that, yeah. They do have a very distinct sound, that is for sure. Once you put, you know, aftermarket exhaust on it, like ours has American, for, American performance exhaust on it. And I think that sounds cool. The Cobra exhaust sounds cool. So 13, 12, the bore's the same, stroke's the same. But let's get to this right here. This is the part that I want to talk about right here. $11,449. So $12,000 plus the destination charge. But I mean, never pay MSRP, guys. Never pay MSRP. You can get it cheaper than that. This is what kills me though. $12,000. And you get a bike with ABS. Great looks. 
amazing ride. Plenty of power because how much does it weigh? Dimensions. 663 pounds ready to ride with 3.4 gallons and a 1300 engine. I mean, you're Sportster territory there, right? But you're cheaper than a Sportster. You are cheaper than a Sportster. And if you put exhaust on them, they're loud. They sound great. The only thing that hurts this bike is that there's not an optional cruise control. But this isn't the kind of bike that you're going to ride cross country. There's plenty of you that have. I've personally taken this bike on a 700 mile trip in one day. I mean, 700 mile, I wasn't sore by any means afterwards. And I had to uh, check out uh, Honda Fury gets a cruise control video on our channel. I have a little throttle lock thing that that makes a huge difference. So, but all in all, I love the color. I don't care for the, I don't care for the, the color of the frame. I love the color of the paint. I love that yellow. I love the color of the engine. I love that black. I wish mine was black. Ours is gray. And the little Honda symbol will have to go on the side. That's one of the funnest things, I think, is that ours does not have any emblems on it at all. No Honda emblems or anything. And people come up and have absolutely no idea what kind of bike it is. That's, that's the fun part. So I'm assuming that these lines right here are all the ABS, obviously which I, I do wish ours had ABS on it. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the new Honda Fury. So if you guys are shopping for a bike, go check one of these out because, I mean, by the time you're done, you can put a tuner on it and you can put exhaust on it. By the time you're done, you're gonna be, if you pay sticker price, but come on, don't pay sticker price, guys. You're gonna be $13,000. But it's going to be done, you know, it's, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that this is, this motorcycle is the best bang for the buck out there. I don't know how you can go wrong. I really don't. And they make back seats for them. They make passenger pegs for them. So you can have somebody ride with you. The shock is completely adjustable underneath this cover. You pull that cover off and you can adjust the shock. That frame is the only thing, but I can get over it. I can get over that frame because actually the more you look at it with the black and the yellow contrast and the chrome, the frame kind of fits in. But I would I would take the rear blinkers off and the rear tail light and I would change all that and I would move the I would move the license plate. And there's some subtle changes that I would make to it, but all in all guys, this is for thirteen thousand dollars, that color is amazing. There's some of you that aren't going to like it because it's yellow. I totally get that. Totally get it. But I think it looks great. But yeah, so guys, that's uh, that's the overlook on the 2022 Fury. I think if you're in the market for a bike, it's definitely worth definitely worth checking out because it is it's cool. You can't go wrong with the Honda Fury. They're everything you need. There's a lot of people that go coast to coast with them. Like I said, I've I've ridden them for, you know, all day long. And I've, I've never been, I've never felt like I needed to get off the bike. You know what I mean? So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe, hit the bell notification. So you know when we load up next and until next time, everybody stay cool. We'll see you in the next one.